Good evening, folks. This morning we said we needed a few hours to let the coronagraphs update from this morning's CME. We have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that this event is not scary. It may impact Earth, but will do so in a moderate fashion at worst. The bad news is that the active region that produced it has clearly lost none of its juice, and it's turning to face the Earth. It has produced a large CME approximately once every 30 hours on its turn across the far side. We'll see if that continues here this week. The coronagraphs are updated from this morning's very wide burst. Definitely looks like a slight halo with plasma visible to the right of center. The edge of this CME is likely Earth directed, but it's also almost certainly mixing in with the coronal hole stream. This powerful stream is expected to deliver that solar wind around Wednesday or Thursday, and while neither it nor the CME alone would produce significant geomagnetic activity, we could see storm levels reached if they arrive together in two or three days. But as I mentioned, the bigger story is that this was from the far northeastern incoming limb. As this active region turns in, it will be targeting Earth with every big blast like the ones it's been producing. It's already sent one our way, so all of the ones that come next will be sent our way as well. What we are worried about is what it might have coming in those next few days. Solar watch is high, sunspot maximum, not done yet. See you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.